Ok. <clears throat> Hello. Hello and welcome to our third plugin drop. Uh, we are basically challenging ourselves uh, to drop a small plugin every two, two weeks. A small asset, a Unity asset. Unity? Hmm, no. A small asset every two weeks. Uh, in this project, we are going to find the, the best set of options available uh, to, to get a real multi-platform, mobile-first, uh, usable WebGL template for Unity. Uh, so let's go. So um, the main problem here uh, is that uh, the, the main problem we need to understand is uh, is there a way to get uh, a safe mobile first WebGL app uh, in Unity. Uh, if you ever had to build a WebGL application uh, using the default options, you have found a no mobile friendly uh, template with an ugly set of alerts uh, that uh, always tell you that uh, WebGL is not supported on mobile devices. Uh, even us, that uh, we are a uh, uh, truly unity uh, lovers <laughs> uh, we are always um, forced to uh, use another engine uh, for example uh, play canvas uh, when we are asked to produce webgl stuff uh, just because uh, the, the the default uh, workflow uh, in unity uh, it's mm, it's basically not supported for for mobile so uh, let's start uh, with the, the main problem. Uh, so why it's not supported and what, uh, what option is not supported? Uh, the, the very first issue, uh, the main issue is uh, the WebGL version. So uh, if you want to create a, a truly multi-platform experience, um, you, you, you want to be sure that your WebGL app uh, works everywhere. And um, here you can see the, the current support table uh, for uh, WebGL 1, the, the first version of WebGL. And as you can see, uh, it has a, a pretty solid support um, uh, by a lot of devices, uh, operating system, and uh, also uh, browsers. Um, if you want, uh, if you want, you can use even WebGL two, um, WebGL two. But as you can see um, here, the, the the device list is much more uh, red, and uh, um, this may be an issue um, when you want to publish the the application. Uh, uh, outside of your uh, device, uh, the, the, the current device list. The second uh, main issue is uh, the default template. So when you build uh, a Unity application uh, in WebGL, you basically um, the, the default template is um, pretty useless <laughs> because usually um, uh, usually you you treat a uh, webgl uh, application as a uh, full page app full width uh, of the page and then you eventually uh, embed that page inside another page uh, with this default template as you can see here this is the default template uh, of a, a unity uh, urp project um, this default template is not um, full screen by default and when you try to uh, embed this uh, this template into another page you get uh, obviously uh, problems and so what's the solution we we found we we had a lot of tests like a lot of tests 
and we found the, the best that the the best multi platform solution uh, to be webgl1 as the first graphics api uh, because even when the device support uh, is enabled for webgl2 something goes wrong and uh, we we had uh, some sort of uh, unwanted behavior um, just an example uh, to to let you know um, uh, we have a uh, google pixel uh, pixel phone uh, 3 that is super updated uh, with the latest version of android the latest version of chrome uh, but i found that if i enable webgl2 support uh, we had a, a problem, but only in portrait mode, not in landscape. And so, uh, this is mm, what uh, this is a, a problem when uh, uh, you don't know what's going on. Uh, even if we uh, try the uh, with our uh, limited set of devices. We have to be sure that at least with those devices we have uh, all tests uh, okay, all tests green. So um, we need to stick with uh, WebGL1, and this option will also force us, unfortunately, to switch the color space from linear to gamma and reduce the, mat the light map encoding value uh, to normal and um, for the webgl template i cooked uh, this that is a, um, a lightweight and super customizable uh, webgl template uh, let me refresh the page and uh, everything is packed inside um the, the 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 template and um, the template is also uh packed with a script that manages the um, different uh, resolution and so you can uh, uh, get uh, the automatic resides of the of the application uh, automatic and also the device orientation is uh, supported so uh, we packed uh, these uh, two main things basically a set of options and the webgl template into a unity plugin that is available here on our uh, store and uh, you can get uh, this uh, package uh, here but if you stick uh, until the end of the video I will let you know how to get uh, the, the plugin for free. As you can see in this video, I'm testing the, uh, the WebGL output uh, on um, a lot of devices. So I tested on uh, our iPhone 8, on Safari and Chrome, on uh, old uh, Samsung Galaxy S7, on the Pixel 3, uh, on the device, on the desktop, uh, of course, and so we we basically tested the whole uh, structure of the plugin um, everywhere. Let's see how the the plugin works. So uh, when you download the, the plugin, you basically download a um, Unity package. Um, you can import the Unity package like this. Uh, uh, the project I'm working on right now is a uh, um, uh, default uh, URP uh, project. Um, when you import the, the plugin, you will get this option over here. And uh, with this uh, window, uh, basically uh, is telling you that it's going to um, um, edit some options. Uh, a couple of options uh, for, for this project and so uh, you press OK and then it will switch the platform to WebGL set uh, all the options uh, for Gamma, for the light map encoding uh, uh, all the stuff we have uh, find uh, to, to create problems in um, uh, 
on the various uh, platforms and then it will install the uh, the webgl template let's see it seems to have done everything so we can check the template also let's see file file build settings as you can see the the application will automatically switch to webgl and then uh, it sets uh, the color space the graphic the graphics api uh, all the stuff over here for the compression uh, everything is set uh, automatically by this uh, plugin to create in order to create the perfect multi-platform uh, application um, another thing uh, I, th I think very cool is that when you um, uh, create the web the webgl application uh, the, the 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 application will get this uh, option um, over here so company name for example i can set this and uh, the name of the project test one and also the version and i can set a uh, default uh, icon for for the op for the application and then uh, it will uh, set uh, all this information also on uh, the web uh, web uh, the, the web application after that uh, we are ready to, to build basically um, and we can build and run for example let's create another build test one And here we are. Our uh, application is running uh, uh, on our machine. As you can see, the loading is taking uh, this part, and um, this part over here is also created uh, in order to get um, the um, a, a good looking. and here we are with, uh, with the application that is running uh, uh, on this machine and um, it also works with a lot of devices and you can test the application using the link uh, in the description of this video and Mm, yeah, it works on a lot of platforms as you can see over here. I recorded a video um, So yeah, this is from uh, uh, Windows PC on Chrome and uh, an iPad Pro with uh, the keyboard support and an iPhone 8 on uh, uh, This is Chrome, but I also tested Safari uh, Samsung Galaxy S7 so yeah it works on a, on a lot of uh, platforms and uh, finally how to get it for free uh, how to get it for free well 
uh, you must join us on uh, Discord. And um, uh, when you join us on Discord, you'll find um, uh, the this channel, Drop3 uh, Multiplatform WebGL Template. And I'm going to uh, send um, uh, a coupon to get this asset for free uh, from our uh, store. But uh, the, the coupon will only work for uh, a fixed number of uh, users. So let me let me know what you think about this uh, this project. And uh, if you are using it, please share with us the the link of your application and uh, join us on Discord so we can chat about this project. Bye bye.